Hi, and welcome to this lesson on circle angles. In this video, I'll be going over the four different types of angles that you will find in a circle using this graphic organizer. If you want to grab this graphic organizer for free, check the description of the video for the link and you can download it and print it off. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first type of angle in a circle is a central angle. And a central angle has a vertex that is the center of the circle. And the formula for finding the angle or the arc is the angle equals the arc. The angle and the arc measure are going to be the same. So if my angle is 150 degrees, like it shows in this picture, then my arc will also be 150 degrees. So the angle and the arc are the same. For an inscribed angle, the vertex is on the circle. It's on the circumference of the circle. Now, inscribed angles can look a couple different ways. They can look like this, which kind of looks like a V shape. Or they can look like this, where one of the lines of the angle go outside the circle. This is a tangent line with a chord. But because the vertex is still on the circle, this is still an inscribed angle. So the formula for an inscribed angle is that the angle equals half the arc. So for example, in this first one, the angle is x, the arc is 120, so it's going to be half of 120, which is the same thing as 120 divided by 2, so my angle would be 60 degrees. And in the second one, same thing, except I have the angle, I'm going to use a different color for this one, I have the angle, it's 150. I want to find the arc. So to do that, I can multiply by 2 on both sides, which cancels out the 1 half, multiplying by the reciprocal. So the arc is 300. All right, the next type is vertex inside. And as the name suggests, the vertex is inside the circle but it's not the center of the circle. The formula for this one, the angle equals half the arc plus the arc, or the arc plus the arc divided by two, same thing. So my angle here is x, we don't know. And my two arcs are 70 and 130. It doesn't matter which one you write first when you're adding. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add those together. 70 plus 130, that's 200. And then half of 200 is 100 degrees. So this angle is 100 degrees. And then the last one is vertex outside. And as the name suggests, the vertex is outside the circle. And the formula for this is the angle equals half the arc minus the arc. But you may want to make a note, it's the big arc minus the small arc, just so we don't have a negative angle measure. So my angle here is x. The bigger arc is 160, and the smaller arc is 80. So I'm going to subtract those, that would be 80. And then half of 80 is 40 degrees. So this angle here is 40 degrees. All right, so those are the types of angles in a circle. If you would like to see more geometry resources from me, you can check out geometrysquad.com.